All right, today we have Surridge and Ecuador stamps to show you. Look at this. This went through double printing. But look at the fancy style and design around the portrait. Double printing is uh, red and white or pink and white. And then had to go back through again for the black and white. But the fanciness around this is so pretty. Nicely designed for sure. All right, and this is a one. A good old one. I think that one's considered a rare one. Okay, then we have a ten here. Very nice. Then we have a one. Oh, a nice black and white one here. Very nice. Oh, look at this one. Was well, a 15 back in 1954. Got turned over to a 10. All right, now look at this one. This is 1830 to 1930. 100 year anniversary. Nice big stamp. And it's a five. Beautiful. Look at all the fancy details at the bottom here. Look at that. All the nice designs. Very pretty. And we have some of the modern butterflies. 80. 50, 30, and 20. And look at this nice one. Now this has got a lot to look at. Not only is it a 10, very nice, it's a long one. Then it's got some of the black stamping on it, Casta. But it also has red stamping on it for a two. So this 10 got turned over to a two. So I'll give you time to really look at that because I know that collectors want to see it all really good. So you stamp twice. Black and white stamping, well black stamping and then your red stamping. So that makes it really interesting for sure. Okay, then we had just two of these. So we put them all in the video with these because there was some, too many stamps there. So here we have a 10. Very nice old and rare one. And then a 15. These are a little bit harder to come by. All right. So I think maybe, I don't know, this one's very interesting. And this one's very interesting. But maybe the most interesting is this one right here. Out of this group. So you go ahead and check them all out and decide which one you think is the best out of the group. And go ahead and leave it in a comment. Kind of like to know what everyone else likes out there. What you're really looking for. Alright. Bye bye now. Be sure to share the video. Alright, here we have some beautiful postage stamps. I think these were in the days when they just cut them off a sheet because see how some of them are cut? It's like this one probably took part of the other one. So I think it was like they had a sheet and they just cut them right out. So let's start with the beginning where they're real stamps. Okay, and this is where some of the letters are backwards and everything. But in order to do the video, I'll put them all the right side. So here's a 25, 
you notice that these had to go through double printing one for like this one here the green and white and one for the black and white picture in the middle this one here for the uh, kind of pinkish tannish brown not quite sure and then for the blue and white in the center this one's a 15 and this one's all one color so it did not have to go through a second printing and this is the four these are pretty cool these are neat first two are for one style fanciness like they were in curtains and this one here completely different design then we went into these some were made in stamp and others look like they were just part of a sheet they cut out and here here's yours go ham home and glue it on your envelope you notice like the R is backwards Y is like a four. I put them all the right side to title the video because I don't know how to switch them, turn them around like that. I don't know if you can. All right. So that's it as far as those that had the preparation. Oh no, this one here also had. Preparation around them. And the rest of them all look like they were part of a sheet and they cut them out. There's a 30, a 60, a 20, a 50. Not even cut good. A5, definitely not cut good. The next one lost a corner. Well, that's a corner that belonged on that one. Cut them and they had the sheet on the cutter the wrong way. Probably cut them in piles. Okay, and then a 3. A10. A5. And a 15. And another 5. Oh, 5 and 1. No, a 1. First letter is actually a B, I guess, or something. Very different. Alright. So I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. A whole pile of them. <laughs> Alright. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and by all means, share the video with other collectors, other stamp dealers and stuff, or people who just enjoy looking at the old stamps. Stamps from different countries are really cool to look at and check out. Alright, bye-bye now. Alright, here we have some old Brazil postage stamps. Now this one is... B-R-A-Z-I-L while the rest of them are S-I-L look at this one kind of neat isn't it so this one's the Z-I-L okay and we have the SIL. Look at that. Nice old one, isn't it? And another one, the SIL. the birds outside. I don't know if it comes through on the video or not. Nice. Ah, this one's a little bit different, isn't it? 
one purple. And this one's like the first one in orange. You can almost see it clearer in orange than you can in the blue. But this is 500. And the orange is 600. Okay, then we have this one here. And this one's a rather new one. And back to some of the old ones. And this one's tiny. Very, very tiny. Look how tiny compared to the other ones. Just a little one. Ah, ten cents. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty one. Elegant looking, isn't it? Kind of see like the plane in the background right there a lot. And we have this envelope here. It happened to be one of them. And it had these two stamps on it. Brazil 81. Brazil 81. Back in 81. Alright, so I think the most interesting one is this one right here. I think that's your most interesting stamp out of this video. Hey, right, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and by all means, share the video with other stamp collectors, so those who just want to see some of the old stamps. Sometimes just checking them out and knowing in order to be on a stamp, it was important. All right. Bye-bye now. All right, in this video, we have India, Indonesia, and Indy. All right, starting right here with our 1A, which is an Anna. Look at that. And we have this one here. Look at this. A seven and a half. It's a Netherland Indie. Isn't that a really different one, huh? Netherland with a S C H or S C N in the Indie. I do believe this is an, a rare one. It is so nice. Look at the design of it all. Very detailed. And we have this one that's a one. You can see it better now. Nedalyn SCH Indy. And that's a one cent. That's a seven and a half cent. Look at these two. I think these are considered rare, these beauties. Love the design, the detail. So beautiful. All right, let me show you what else we have in this video. All right, Republic of India. This is 1950. I wonder how many of these were made. And then we have the little one, India. Six PS, please. Very nice, a lot to see, huh? And we have a few of these. This is a 10 cent. 
Republic with a K, Indonesia, Republic again with a K, a 20. So we have a 10 and a 20. And we go down here, we have 50, Indonesia, 40, Indonesia, 30 are India. Five R India. And look at this one. Seventy five Sun Republic with a K Indonesia. Nine four fifty six. It's like a bunch of planes all going different ways. That is an interesting stamp. Curiosity as to the history as to why it was made the way it was. Interesting. If you happen to know, go ahead and leave it in a comment. Definitely different, that's for sure. Almost kind of looks like three planes in one. I don't know. can't quite make out exactly what's going on. So enlighten me and the rest of the viewers who will be checking this out and saying, hmm, it is rather interesting. Different for sure. All right. And then we have a Ned Indy, a one, and again, a 60. 60 cent on that one, 60 Golden. So even though it looks like it's the same lady, a little bit different. Same picture, different colors, and one is 60 cents and one is one golden. Back in the days where it was like a round circle for cancellation, look at that. Very different. Okay, now both of these are 12 and a half cents. It's like on top of this one had 224. Netherland Indies. And it's been changed to a 12 and a half cent. This one here was 17 and a half. Turned into a 12 and a half cent. All right, same picture, different colors, different amounts, all both turned to 12 and a half. That's interesting. All right, let's continue here. There's a 20 India. Ten Indonesia, eighteen sixty six to nineteen sixty six, India, High Court, nine fifteen, nineteen oh eight to nineteen fifty eight. And a big one, India. Look, 15. Now he also came in a group of four and fives. Ah, now look at this. 25th anniversary of independence of India, 1947 to 1972. Interesting. Very colorful. Very nice. Okay. One, India. The lion. One and a 
have in there. And Indonesia. All right. Now I think my interesting ones are these two right here. These are the interesting ones of this group. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. And by all means, share the video with others, okay? I'd appreciate that for sure. All right. Bye-bye now. Okay, here we have some Napa Para postage stamps. Look at this one. Isn't this a beauty? Not too many of them stamps. They're pretty much all the same design. Not too much on them. Except for this one here. This is just beautiful. Look at that. The crown in the center. Upper corners. A, R, and the two tens. Unused. Such a beautiful stamp. Definitely a good one to have in the collection. Nice one. Alright, let me show you the rest that we have in this group. We have a little two. And here we have, was a one, it got changed to a 70 for some reason. Kind of like the ones you cut off and put on a, have to take it home and glue it on your envelope. Alright, and we have this one here, it's 60. These two are both tens, but the shade of the green is a little different. They're both the same. So I thought I'd put them both out there for you. And we got the same with the brown, only one's a 15 and the other one's a 25. See the different shades in the brown. Then we have a 50 in blue. Beautiful with the birds and everything. Really like that one. And then another brown that's in five. And this one here again with the birds but in a 40. The other one was a 50 in blue. And we have a 40 in purple. All right. So that's about it. Not too many of those, but this one is just so beautiful. Of course, it went through a second printing. Once for the red and white, kind of on a tan paper. And then once for the crown, which is the green and white or green and tan. So a double printing on this one. And of course, the ones that are the winners, if the crown would have been upside down, but of course I don't have that one. And they may have accidentally got out in circulation. But I'm not that lucky. Wish I was. But here we have a beautiful stamp. I love this one. Alright, hope you've enjoyed my bringing it to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. And we'll bring us some more as we travel around the world looking at all the old stamps. Alright, bye-bye now. Alright, here we have a collection of San Marino poster stamps. Now this one here, I believe, would be considered rare. Look at the beauty of it. So nice. What a beauty. Very pretty. Alright, I also believe this one may be a nice old one, too. It's almost like a postage due type stamp. I believe this one may be a rare one, too. So out of this video, maybe these two are the nice rare ones. But let me show you what else we have. Look at that. The old trains. Isn't that beautiful? Of course, this had to go through a second printing. Once for the blue and white, and once for the black and white. 
little bit's blue. Yeah, it's blue. Isn't that nice to see the smoke and everything too? Can you imagine the guy making the plate for this? The details of this train to have to put that on a plate in order to make the stamp. That's what's interesting. And that's the art. That's what makes some of the old stamps very valuable. Is the details they used to put in stamps. Very nice. Alright. And we have this one here. It's a tuoliri. Very nice. Again, had to go through double printing. And we're getting into not so old. It's kind of mixed this video. Okay, look at the airplane here. Cool, huh? One that you probably wouldn't dare get on. <laughs> says 1909 yeah 1909 eh. the beginning okay and here we have a two look at that 1963 stamp and we have another one of the good old ones it's a five Larry Look at the two upper right hand corners with the axe. It's always nice. You look beyond the pictures. Look at the framing of it and everything. Kind of cool. Okay. 1922 to 1934. Hmm. There you go. An old one. And we have one that's not so old, 1963. And another nice one right here. The pointer. Time for hunting, huh? Okay, then we have a collection of these beautiful ones here. Excellent condition, unused. We have a one. We have a two. See how beautiful the condition is? We have a three. We have a four. And we have a five. Okay, and then here we are hunting here with a 15. Very nice. Now we get into the trains. 1839 train. 1860 train. Hmm. Kind of reminds you of that one right there that's on that stamp, don't it? Yeah. Okay. Very beginning. 1812. And look at that. 1829. Very different. All right. Well, you know the favorite one out of this one is this one right here. That's my favorite. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. And we'll bring you some more postage stamps from around the world. We've got the old and not quite so old and some rare. All righty. Bye-bye now. Share the video. All right. In this video, we have a rack. And a visa. Look at this. I've never seen this one before. Isn't it beautiful? This is an Iraq, a two. Well, I'd really like to know the year of this. If any of you out there happen to know the year of this stamp, could you please just put it in the comment? 
It's always nice to share, and I'm dying of curiosity. I've never seen this one before. It's very nice. Right, and then we have this one here from Iraq. That's a three. A lot of design to this one. Very pretty. And this one here, a one half Anna from Iraq. Even Iraq had Annas. Giving us an idea of some of the architectural buildings of the land. Nice. And here, this one. On state service, it says. That's what the cancellation says. And this is a one Anna. So we have a half Anna and we have a one Anna. Very nice. Okay, then we have a one Anna here. And look at this big one. That's an 8P. Very different. Nice long, long one. Okay, and now we have La Visa. That one was from the Era Bleed. I don't know if that falls under a rack or not. Hmm. Okay. La Visa. Very pretty stamp. Looks like it's an Olympic one. And here we have, ooh, a beautiful 10. Wow. Diamond shape and still went on the double printing. Once for the green and white and once for the pink and white. That's pretty cool. And then here's the other Olympic one to go with. You have the silver and you have the gold. All right. Now we get up into some of the older little ones. There's the 50 cents. The 25 cents. This 25 cents. And these two that are together. And these are the Utiva stamps. So we got three combinations of stamps here. These two are kind of together here. So we have this whole set right there, along with the diamond one. And then these two on the side are different. And then we have all the Iraq, well, Arab one, and then all the Iraq ones. Very different. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing them to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more from around the world. Bye-bye now. All right, here we have some stamps from many different countries. Just a collection of some of the odds and ends leftovers that didn't get into a video. So let me bring them all to you. Look at this one. Wasn't really sure where this stamp comes from, but very different. Haven't seen this one before. Almost like it may be called a rare one. Different for sure. And we have this one on pink. I know this is Germany, but on pink paper. 50M. See the beautiful eagle in the background. So nice. 
kind of makes you think of a rug and then they put the 50 in the M on top. Look at all the tiny little details into it. Really cool. Nice. Okay. And we have this one here. 140. Just a black and white. Seems like a pretty old one. And this. Oh, look at this one. Now this one went through double printing. Once for the green and white. Once for the black and white. Very nice. And this one was just different. Ten cents. Not an old one. And we had this one that was an eight. And then two green ones. These green ones have not been used. And the orange one has not been used. But these two were together. And if you find stamps like this and they're together, keep them together. Because the value will be higher. And as the years go by, even better. Every year that passes by, we find new ones that are valuable. So you never know. Here's a five cent one. Just so cute. Okay. Czechoslovakia. Very nice. Look at the beautiful architectural buildings in there. On top of the statue, of course. But the buildings are beauty. I love architectural buildings. Okay, then we have a 15. Then we have these here. We have a 100. It says 1967 underneath it. We have a 50. It says 1960 underneath it. And we have a 20 that says 1968 on top. Now this one here looks like a really old one. Looks really nice. Just a plain flying. It's a 25M. I think this is very interesting. Very nice one. And then we have this one, PF84 dot. Weight of the land. Looks like a castle, whatever, on top. A ship in the water. Really nice. And we have three of these. All the same fella. Starting with this one here. 50. FR50, a 3P, and a 4P. Alright, and the last one, of course, is the one I showed you at the very beginning. 50NP. Alright. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. I think this one, this first one right there, I don't know the year of this. Either that one or this one will be the oldest ones out of this group. If I'm wrong, I welcome you to leave it in a comment. I'm figuring that one and this one. All right. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and as always, share the video. Alright, bye-bye. Okay, in this video, we have two groups of postage stamps. We'll start right now with Dominicana. And here's a one cent. Here's a 
There's another one, son. Drying cocoa. Isn't that cool? Almost get to see how it's done, huh? And here's a one cent. Actually a stamp. Looks a little different, doesn't it? Republica Dominicana. Wow, I think this one probably is considered a rare one. Very neat. Very different in design. Okay, and then here we have a two cent one. Making baskets. Then we have a ten cent one. Of the president. All right, and now we come with Mukambi Cook. Here is a 16 plane with an overview. This one had to go through a double printing once for the red and white, once for the black and white. Stamp becomes valuable when it goes through the black and white and the picture ends up upside down and somehow it still gets out in the public. But that's not the case for this one. It gave me my plane all right side up. Shish. Here's another one that went through the double printing. Beautiful. And this one too, another 10. And here we have a 20. Beautiful. Nice architectural building, huh? And look at this one. Very different. Look at that. I think this might be a rare one. Very different looking. Never seen this one before. Nice. Okay, then we have the four and a half. Part of the older ones. Get to see the homes, look at them. And we have a few, $50, some of the bigger ones. And then the hippo in the water for 80. All right, even though I find this one very, very interesting, probably the oldest one will be this one right here. Just very different looking. All right, hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and as always, share the video. It's always nice to share. All right, bye-bye now. All right, here we have some beautiful British stamps. Look at that. Just think I went through double printing just to write postage and revenue in one cent. Usually when they go through double printing it's for the picture. But not this one. I believe this is a rare stamp. It's beautiful. It's a one cent. Isn't that nice? Beautiful ship in the water. Very nice. And look at this next one set. Let me get real close so you can see all the details of the paper itself. Look at that. Look at the lines in the paper. I think that's what makes this one very unique. Very different. 
not only is it postage revenue, but if you look on it, it says war. So that's how it got stamped by the post office. It's a war stamp. Look at that. I believe that this is rare. Not only because of the one cent, but because of the cancellation. This is so cool. Very nice. Alright, and here we have a one cent right here. And look at this, three cent one. All the working going on. Very nice, nicely designed. Nice old one. Okay, then here we have British Empire stamp. The Commonwealth Games. Very nice. Then we have a two and a half. And we have these three. They're all on, looks like an airmail envelope. We have that one. We see the six quite often. And we have the three. And then the twelve. Very nice. Alright, now you know these first two are the very important ones. Probably the most valuable ones in this group, of course. But I think the one that is the most valuable is the one cent war one. So if you know, go ahead and leave it in a comment. But I think that this stamp, not only because of the paper, not only because it's one cent, but because it's the cancellation is war. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more interesting stamps from around the world. And by all means, share. If you know any collectors or dealers, pass the video around. Alright, bye-bye now.